Hello everybody and welcome. This is another gameplay by Psycho Mike 24. And here we have a match on Hijacked where I want to talk about some important issues that I kind of had with one of my videos regarding the gun, the list of guns for uh, Black Ops 2. Now, before I get into that though, I want to talk about this gameplay. I do get two sets of dogs in this game and I am pretty much running on a one bar, connection interrupted the entire time. Don't know how this happened. You can kind of tell a little bit later from like, the lag and stuff, and my sheer missing abilities that I have. But I am, I think, it said level 51, fifth prestige. So I am eighth prestige right now, about to go on to ninth. So this gameplay was actually quite a while ago, but I thought I'd put it up because you know might as well just do it. I also have a gameplay coming up for. Um, one of my friends, he went 19 and 1 in search and destroy. I'll try to get that up, but the quality was really bad in my last attempt to capture, so I'm going to redo that. But anyway, so I want to talk about this MP7, and in that video, I happened to um, I happened to say that the MP7 sucked, and that was just because it sucked compared to the one that was in Modern Warfare 3. And I just didn't want you guys to overuse the MP7 and expect great things to happen. Now, I'm running the MP7 with suppressor and grip. I pretty much just used the MP7 with suppressor and uh, focus in Modern Warfare 3, which would reduce your uh, the flinch. So I'm running toughness, but I can also run more attachments also. So I'm running the um, grip so I can reduce its recoil. And this makes it as close to um, the Modern Warfare 3 MP7 as possible. But the MP7 is actually a pretty good gun. I mean, it's that average gun, that MP5 that anybody can use. It's just amazing how... Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy. I keep on popping up the scoreboard to see if I can show you like when my one bars come up. But Anyway, so there's the MP7, and I said that was really bad, and, you know, it's not that bad of a gun. I mean... The MSMC seems to be the favorite, but I think that the PDW is probably the best. Um, I'm playing on PlayStation, so I don't have the Peacekeeper just yet, but from what I've seen and what I've heard, it's probably not going to be overpowered. But I do want to definitely try that weapon out. I, the way how I would use that gun, it would just be amazing. So, um, yeah. But the MP7, it fits right in there with all the rest of the guns, uh, submachine guns. It's just kind of the average submachine gun now. So now we've got the... Oh, yeah, this part... I, I just started playing campy here. This, I was just... <laughs> the MP7 as an assault rifle. Because I was like, this lag sucks. I'm not going negative. I'm going to kill everybody. So we're going to play campy. One other thing that I wanted to say was is that when I got the gun list, I pretty much just assumed everything about the guns so you know they're not quite as accurate uh the ballista is definitely the quick scope gun but the dsr is probably the mo more preferred gun because of the one shot ability and they also gave the guns out in a different order like the m8a1 was first then the scar h and the a94 we definitely know that that's not the order that they come out in it's actually almost the complete opposite but the next gun the SIG 556 was the original name for the SWAT 556, and I said it like that, and that's just because that's how it was released on the forum, so, um, yeah, that's what came out there. And then the SA-58 is the FALOSW. I know I got a comment on that video, somebody was like, finally, they finally put the SA-58 in Call of Duty, and, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know how they can just change the name of the gun and it's completely different, but they, they do that, so... Because <sighs> it's the FALOSW. I don't know if it's the same gun. It, I mean, like, it is the same, like, gun, the same stats and everything, but I don't know if it's the same gun in real life, or even if the FALOSW model even exists. Because, um, from this guy commenting, the SA-58, I, I have a feeling that that's a real gun. The FAL, we all know, is a great gun, but maybe not the OSW model, I don't know. But, it's just weird. I, those things, the form just screwed me up a lot. So, let's start talking about this gameplay now. I am, I am getting close. I think I, did I call my Orbital? Yeah, I have my Orbital and my Escort drone in. 
And uh, I'm just trying to get some uh, kills because I'm trying to get close to my dog so I can just, you know, capture the first flag. Maybe not even have to run out there and get people. And here is the final kill cam, which it doesn't show in theater mode, so I made my own makeshift final kill cam. Yeah, that was epic. Yeah, okay, that was really stupid. But apparently some guy over there died. I don't even know which one died, but... We're back into the next round. I'm lagging the poop out of everything, and we're about to go capture this A flag, and I'm like, yes! Gonna get my dogs, gonna get my dogs, and it's just shy. And I'm like, poo! So for the, like this next minute, I'm trying to find where I'm gonna go without like running into a close encounter to an enemy. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. You know, you know when you're on a really high kill streak, the next round started, everybody's doing those rush routes again, where do you go? So I just hung back, hopefully my teammates would push forward, they can't get B without my help because I'm just so amazing, and this guy's freaking bouncing, Betty goes off, so I'm scared, poopless. And uh, I'm just trying to find the good route to get people, so I'm just like, screw it, I'm popping my head up, I'm killing somebody. And bam, there's my dogs, I'm like, yes. And you can see the lag is commencing. Oh my god, I am about to lose my streak. But I don't care, because I got my dogs. And, um, yeah, the, the, the dogs are pretty beast. And from the new patch that they released, they released on the Xbox a couple days before on PS3. Um, they made the swarms and loads. The load star doesn't fly its missiles as fast, and the swarm doesn't shoot uh, its hunter killers as fast. I really wanted to capture that. I should have just gotten off and gotten back on to avoid that sun text, but I wanted that flag. Could have been running flat jacket, but I was running hard line instead because I was going for these high kill streaks. I pretty much always use toughness and scavenger. This time I don't have toughness on. Oh, I thought I did. Normally I run toughness also. I guess it really didn't matter that this match because I was lagging the crap out of every single kill in my hand. But look at that. I don't know if I would have stayed in that gunfight anyway, if I had toughness. I would have died anyway. But, um, yeah, so I'm trying to get another thing of, Well, I'm not trying to get another thing of dogs. I'm just trying to get some more kills here. And I end up getting another thing of dogs. Kind of close to the end of the match. we got about three minutes left. And freaking lagging all over the place trying to kill this guy. Shooting out air support. Can't even get him. It's not like I'm even trying to go for a headshot or anything. Capping that flag back right away. Standing completely still, and I can't even kill him. Oh well. So, now they've got the B flag, and that means they can spawn at either A or C. And it looked like they were spawning on the A side, which is good because there's a bigger spawn trap on that side. And holy crap! I mean, like, I'm not that big of a spawn trap person, but you know, when you're trying to go for high kill games, it's okay, but don't stay in one spot. Holy crap. Oh, no, 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 no. This is really bad here. This guy either sucks. I mean, you may think I suck, but I had a one... I didn't have my scoreboard up then, but I had a one bar. Connection interrupted that entire time. I'm getting stunned by this guy. See, this is what I mean. You can't stay in one spot, otherwise the guy will track you. He will stun you. He'll cook a nade all the way until it's in your face and then blow it up. And I'm about to get an orbital VSAT here, and I'm... I'm running out of ammo because I'm not picking up any scavenger packs because I'm playing campy. And holy crap, I'm like, oh my god. No wonder there's so many enemies. And this guy's upstairs looking for me. See, that's why you need to move. These people are upstairs and they're looking for you. And then you head downstairs and they're looking for you there. I can't see that guy because he just teleported there because it was lagging. But, um... I mean, you cannot stay in one spot. Like, if you want to play conservative, you have to move. If you stay in one spot, you're screwed. I mean, toughness, toughness, scavenger, or not scavenger, flak jacket and tactical mask, that's not going to protect you. That doesn't make you a juggernaut. They could just come in there normally and shoot you, because they know exactly where you're at, because you can sit in one spot. It just doesn't work like that. Come on, guys. No camping. Hostile UAV above. But, uh, I don't know. Did I get my dogs already? The second dog? Yeah, I must have, because I'm getting War Beast medals. And the War Beast medals are good, because you only get 25 score for that, but after, like, the match is over, you get, like, 100 XP for each one. Same with, like, the swarm stuff. 
You get 100 XP for each of the medals you get from that. And oh my god, I just ran into like three shotgun poops. And um, the match is almost over, and I can't believe I was actually doing this good with a freaking one bar connection like half the time. I have another gameplay that's Double Dogs. I'm probably not going to put it up because it's not as good because it's me. It's the next game actually, and it's on uh, Turbine. But uh, it wasn't as good as this one. I didn't think it was as good just for the sheer fact of, uh, well, this was my first time I ever ran dogs. I was lagging the crap, and I got two of them. And, uh, you know, it's just awesome. So uh, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe for more great commentary and gameplay about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Thank you. Here's my score. I think that says 58 and 8, but... Oh well.